Hello, in this video we're going to be looking at geometric progressions, okay? And so I'm going to talk about what a geometric progression is, how to find the nth term of one, and finally we'll look at some examples, and I'm going to timestamp each part of the video below. So let's start off with what is a geometric progression, okay? So it's going to be a sequence, and I've got one here below, it goes 5, 10, 20, and 40. And what makes it a geometric progression is, to get from one term to the next, we're multiplying by some constant value each time. So it's going to be the same each time. And so in this example here, which is a geometric progression, we're doubling it. So we're multiplying each term by 2 to get to the next. So 10 multiplied by 2 takes me to 20. 20 multiplied by 2 takes me to 40. Okay, And this constant value, this times 2 that we have, is called the common ratio of the geometric progression. Now, I'm going to come back to this uh, question in a second and try and calculate an nth term for it. But let's look at a generic case, okay, and that's going to help us find a formula to find the nth term. And so here, okay, you can see we've got uh, a geometric progression, a, ar, ar squared. So in this case, our first term is a, and our common ratio is r. And so I've got a table here. So the first term, well, in our nth term, that's when n is going to be equal to 1, so I can write 1 here. And we know the first term, that's just a. For the second term, that's when n is going to be equal to 2, and that would be, well, the common ratio is r, so we're going to multiply the first term by r, and we get a times r, which is ar. For the third term, we're going to then take the second term and multiply it by r again, so ar multiplied by r gives me ar squared, okay? So now let's extend this and see if we can come up with a formula for the nth term. So let's just see what's going on earlier, okay? Let's start off with the second term, so that's when n is equal to 2. So we've got a multiplied by r. When we have n equal to 3, so for the third term, we've got a multiplied by r squared. And you might notice that the power of r is one less than our value of n, okay? And so we could use this to get an nth term, which is going to be a multiplied by r to the power of n minus 1. And that is a formula for the nth term. So I could write it here, nth term is going to be equal to a which is the first term, multiplied by r, which is the common ratio, to the power of n minus 1. And I'll put it in this red box here. So let's go back up to the first example, and I'll take this as well, and we'll see if we can calculate an nth term for this geometric progression. So we've got a first value of 5, so our a is going to be 5. We know that we're multiplying by 2 every time, so our common ratio um, is 2. So we have a value of r equal to 2. And we want, well, we have an nth term, so n is just going to be n minus 1. So we get the nth term of this geometric progression is going to be a, which is 5, multiplied by 2 to the power of n minus 1, like that. Let's now go and look at another example. So it says find the nth term of the following geometric sequence. So it goes 40, 20, 10, 5, 2.5, and so on. So the first step I'm going to do is find what is my common ratio. How do I get from one term to the next? So we're going from 40 to 20. Well, what do I multiply by? I could multiply by one half like this. How do I get from 20 to 10? Multiply by half, okay? And so we found our common ratio is going to be equal to one half. And we know the first term is 40, and we have a common ratio, r, of one half. And so the nth term is going to be equal to, well, we had the formula, it's going to be equal to a, which is 40, whoops, multiplied by the common ratio, r, which in this case is a half, to the power of n minus 1. And so, say for that sequence there, we wanted to find, say, the seventh term. Let's write it like this, seventh term. That's going to be equal to 40 multiplied by 1 half to the power of 7 minus 1, which is 6. And so, if I just work that out on my calculator, we've got 40 multiplied by 1 half to the power of 6, and that's going to give me an answer of 5 over 8. So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, like, subscribe, and share, and go over to my channel for tons more maths tutorials. If you're interested in uh, specifically A-level maths um, sequences and series, I'll link my playlist on that below. Thanks for watching.